up MVPs and welcome to another video and today we are doing FNAF tier list um I am doing this solo and uh yeah so I'm gonna be rating them from like FNAF 1 to FNAF 2 3 4 5 whatever other one there is uh I'm not gonna be doing them in this order I'm just gonna be doing them by the game releases so FNAF 1 Freddy I say that he would be in, well, more of a B or C tier, mostly because he doesn't really do anything in the first game. He mostly just stands there creepily, and um, he just he's just there and doesn't really do a lot. Like, I don't know how to explain. It's just like, he sits there, and then when the power is out, that's only when he comes, and it doesn't really, it, it's like why like why not have him do more so that that's why he's only like a c tier for me chica chica is a d tier well actually no she, she'd be a b tier because like she actually moves around she actually does stuff she messes with the pants and whatever um she's a bit more annoying <laughs> than bonnie because bonnie comes like every now and then but she comes like every five seconds um Bonnie is C B B tier as well because yeah he he doesn't bother you as much but he is moving he's not just doing nothing. Um, where's Foxy? Is there a Foxy? Yes, there's a Foxy. Okay, Foxy he is my favorite. Um, he's my favorite animatronic other than Mangle because Foxy and Mangle all the way. Um, but I feel like he would be. Um, mechanic-wise, he would be B-tier, but annoyance-wise, he would be C-tier, because he is fairly annoying, and I die every time to him. Um, like, constantly, like, any time, on night two, any time he's there, co like, every, any time he comes in, just die immediately. Like, I never have any time to flip down the camera and quickly click. Um, Golden Freddy, he's an Easter egg, but not a lot of people have encountered him in the game, so I feel like he would be a D or E tier for me, because, like, you don't really see Golden Freddy come out. Yes, he's, or she's, like, they, it's a very big part of, like, FNAF lore, but to me, in the first game, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, in FNAF 2... Uh, hold on. And then, okay, so the FNAF 2 game itself would probably be B tier because it's a good game all in itself. Um, I feel like because there's Freddy, there's Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie. Then there's that, 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 and then okay, no, so I um. Okay, no, 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 no. Then, then this Freddy. This Freddy is, yeah, B tier. B tier. This Freddy is going to be B tier because he he actually moves. He actually moves this time and doesn't act like this one. Um, Toy Freddy is going to be C tier because I don't really, like, again, his mechanics are, some, are similar to Freddy's mechanics, but a bit different. He does walk around a lot more often, but he doesn't really do anything. Um, Toy Bonnie is going to be a B tier because he actually moves around. And he actually like goes to the um, vents and everything. So he would be more lit, more of an interesting character. Um, same thing with Chica. She also moves around a lot more she like takes off her beak which actually would i would say she's a tier because of that she takes off her beak and she's like all creepy looking and is like hey i'm no longer the sweet chica that you know kind of thing so yeah i i do that um and then bonnie withered bonnie so in in the ultimate custom night game i hate him because he just keeps coming over and over and over, and I, I can't with him. But in the FNAF 2 game, which is where he came from, um, I feel like he is 
a C, well, C tier, D tier, because he doesn't really do anything. He doesn't appear that often. Um, he only really appears, like, whenever. Same thing with, like, all the other withered animatronics that come out whenever, except for Foxy. Foxy comes out at, like, every, like, five seconds. Um, Withered Chica, same thing. I haven't really seen her in the second game. I have played a bit of it. Um, but I haven't really gotten to see her. I only saw Bonnie and Foxy. That's it. Uh, Bonnie, Foxy, and a tiny bit of Freddy. Uh, Foxy, he's, he's very easy to get rid of. You just gotta flash him three or four times until your battery starts to, like, um, glitch. And then, it, and then you gotta, like, stop, like, clicking your battery and whatever, and then you gotta wait for a bit, and then you can see, okay, he's gone now. So he's kind of easy, and I like his jump scares. Jump scare is, like, really scary, because he runs at you, and he's like, hey. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think this Golden Freddy is also from the second game. This In the second game, it's a bit better, because he's actually, like, expressed. Like, it's, all, it's like, hey, I'm here now, kind of thing. Um, Shadow Bonnie, I think, appears in the second game as well. I don't really know what his uh, convenience is for the game. I I never knew. No one really knew when I started watching uh, theories and whatever. So I'm going to put an E tier. Same thing for uh, Shadow Freddy because I don't really know what their um, reason to be in the story is. Especially because they're not really... They're just FNAF 2 characters and no one ever like thought about them after FNAF 2. Um... FNAF 3, we're gonna go Freddy. Oh, oops. No, 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 not, not F2. Freddy. Um, I feel like this Freddy would be... Um, would be, like, D tier, because he doesn't really... Again, he doesn't really do anything. Balloon Boy is F tier, because no one likes Balloon Boy. Okay, stop. Okay, um... And he's constantly annoying. Puppet is A tier because of how he just sits there and he's like, hey, what's up? Oh, wait, I forgot Puppet from the second game. Okay. Oh, and I forgot all of them. Whoopsie. I'm dumb. Okay. So, so yeah, no, Puppet just sits there and is like, hey, what's up? I'm here. And, and, the, and then goes away. Puppet from the second game gets a B tier because you have to actually do something with her. You have to, like, uh, do her music box where she jump scares you. Dee Dee, wait, no. Dee Dee is from the second game, right? And then Balloon Boy is from the second game. And then Mangle, she is very annoying because of her, like, um, glitched out stutters and mutters and everything. Um, so I would, like, game mechanic wise, she doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and is, like, a noise, like, an inconvenience noise. So I would put her in D tier. Um, okay, now, did I do all of the toy animatronics? Yes, I did, and now I'm gonna go to the third game again. Um, so um, now, for after Puppet, we go to Chica. Phantom Chica, I haven't really played the game that much, like the third one, so I don't really know where Toy Chica what, what she does, so I'm just gonna put her in E tier for now. Once I play the game, maybe, like, this might change. Like, the list will 100% change because I played, like, by that time, I would have played all the games or some of the games, and I would have been like, okay, so these are good and these are good. Springtrap. I, it, like, when the first game, like, when, sorry, when the third game came out and Springtrap was the only one who could kill you, I was like, Holy jeez, this is, like, scary, but, like, because anytime he would pop his head open, I would be like, nope, I don't want to look inside that. I don't want to look inside it. So I would put him in A tier. Yes, a lot of people don't really like him, which I don't get why. I get that it's just, like, a dead body that's inside him, but it, like, I like that he is always the only one that's able to actually do anything, that you could see a shadow running by, and it's, like, really cool how you could see that. And the other characters don't have that. They just sit there and stare at you for a little bit, and then they go away. But Springtrap is kind of unique in that way, that he can, like, manipulate whatever's around him, and you can, like, run, and you can see that he's running. But, like, it, it's really cool. Um, Mangle. Well, Phantom Mangle. 
Again, I don't really know what she does, so that's why I'm going to put her in E tier. She's not a total F at the moment, so I'm just going to keep them at E tier, the ones that I don't know what do, whatever. Same thing with Foxy. I don't know what he does, so I'm going to keep him at E tier. He might go up or he might go down. Uh, it depends. Now we're going to move on to the fourth game. Is there another? Yeah. We're going to go to the fourth game. And Freddy and the Freddles. They go to B tier only because the Freddles are super adorable. Yes, they may be creepy, but they're adorable. And I like the mechanic where once there's three of them, Freddy starts to loom over you. And that's actually kind of cool in that way, in that sense. Bonnie, Bonnie and Chica both have basic mechanics uh, where it's like you got to listen through the door and you got to close in, whatever. Um, and that's why they get, like, C tier. Foxy gets A tier because he's in the closet and you just gotta, like, peek in and you never know when his face is gonna pop up and it's like, yee, and, like, yee, and you close the door and it's like, and you gotta, you gotta be there, like, is he gone yet or is he, like, still there kind of thing? So it's, it's, it's kind of cool how it's, I like, I like Foxy's mechanic. Um... Fred Bear. Nightmare Fred Bear. Um, I haven't really encountered him in the game. I think that he was a Halloween update. No, he wasn't. No, no, no. Jacko Chica and Jacko Bonnie were Halloween updates. He's just a regular character. I don't really know, so I'm going to put him in D, only because his character design is really cool. Same with Nightmare. With Nightmare, I'm going to put him up higher because his character design, like the brain, is really cool. And I like the red teeth. Like, that is so cool how he has like redder teeth um plus trap is like <clears throat> e tier because you just sit there you wait and then if he's if he like jump scares you it's it's whatever kind of thing so that's why he's like an e um halloween so i forget what they're i just said their name jack obani um I haven't really played the Halloween update version, the DLC, I think it, I think it's a DLC, I don't know. I haven't really played it, so that's why they're both going to be in there. Same with, um, with uh, all of the other characters that are part of it, because I never played it, and I don't have a big bias on them, so that's why they're going to go in the lower area. Old Man Consequences. Um... From the FNAF World game, I'm guessing they're taking... Actually, hold on. Because, yeah, their FNAF World is next. So, FNAF World game. I would put that in... D tier, because he provides, like, a bit of story into um, Golden Freddy's life. I don't know about this Endo uh, from FNAF World, so he's going to go in E tier. Um... I'm going to go to Sister Location. Uh, in Sister Location, um, Circus Baby gets a B tier. because Only because, like, um, I like how her voice, like, how it's her voice that is leading you. But I feel like, I, I don't know if this has been established or not, but I feel like it's Inard because of all of his eyes. He can see through everyone else's eyes because of their eye color. Just just a theory. So because he has like 50,000 50, different like eye colors, he could probably see through other people, like other animatronics eyes. Yes, I know this is like a big stretch, but like it's kind of cool how like if he could do that, it would be really cool, especially because... um. Like, it's his voice. He manipulates uh, Circus Baby's voice to... And I feel like he's the one who's actually talking. So he would get, like, a straight-up, like, A tier. Because he... Like, to me, he would... To me, how I see it is he's manip manipulating Circus Baby's voice. And he's using it to his advantage to get into um, your character, not Circus Baby. Circus Baby is just a bystander and basically um, Anard, Anard's eyes are just like able to see from every other character's eyes and he controls them. Um, and then when he says like turn left, turn right, it's like if 
are you going to listen to my instructions or are you not going to listen to my instructions? Like, I want to know, like, if you're going to do this and that in order for me to actually trust you in order to be like, okay, so they're actually going to go to the room that I want them to go to kind of thing. Um, Ballora is... S tier. I love Valora. I love her design. I love her song. I love her dance. Um, I love, like, she, she's just an S tier, and I love how she represents the mother in FNAF. Um, Funtime Foxy. Um, Funtime Foxy is a bit annoying because you gotta keep clicking the flash to get through the room. So I would say he's D tier or she's D tier because Funtime Foxy has both. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like D tier only because it's very annoying to keep flashing and flashing over and over. Um, Funtime Freddy gets an A tier in scary because he's always there and he's just like, hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? Hi. And you have to, like, reset everything and make sure that he doesn't get too close. Um, um, da, 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 da. I forget. Funtime Bonnie, I think that, no, Bon Bon, sorry. Look, I'm try I can't remember the names. Bon Bon, and, like, he's super cute. He's super tiny. I feel like he would go in B tier because he doesn't really do anything other than the voice to keep, uh, Freddy calm. Um... So, Biddy Baps don't really do anything. They're kind of just there. Like, when in the in the first night or second night, when you have to hide underneath the cabinet, um, they're a bit annoying because they keep pulling the thing, the door. So, I would say, mechanic-wise, E. Um, same thing with Mini Arenas. Mini Arenas, like, I don't understand how you can win that night because it's just so annoying. Because when you're shaking like them off, it's really hard to understand what you're supposed to do, especially when they jump scare you and you're like, what did I do wrong? Um, Lolbit is just like for lol, so I, I'd put her like in D tier because she doesn't, I don't think she really does anything. Um, with bit, with um, the glowing bitty bab, I don't know what that one is. Never heard of that one, so I'm just going to put it on F tier. Um, Yendo. Yendo goes C tier. He has a relevance in the story. Again, don't really know what he does, but kind of, it's he's kind of cool because you can see how these animatron these fun time animatronics were, were built. And you can see how creepy they actually look on the inside rather than just like the plastic. Um, Bonnet. I don't know enough of Bonnet, so I'm going to put her in E tier. And now that leaves me with all of these guys. Um, oh, wait, no, no, Funtime Chica, but Funtime Chica would usually... No, no. okay. Phone Guy. Phone Guy is 100% absolutely annoying. Yes, he gives you some dialogue, but he is very annoying. Um, Funtime Chica... She kind of gets in the way whenever, like, you're just, like, on a good streak. And then she's, like, smile for the camera. And then it gets wavy and you can't see anything. So I would put her in D tier because of it. Um, you, um, Candy Cadet, provides a lot of story. Is super cool, super great. Love it. Um, get tra Trash in the Gang, S tier. Absolute S tier, but like I feel like because I'm doing it in order. S tier right here. They're the best. They don't bother you at all. Their relevance, no idea what it's for, but you know what? They're cool. Helpy gets 100% S tier because he also helps you. And then in the um, Ultimate Custom Night game, you boop his nose and it makes a boop sound, and that's really, really cool. Um, I don't know anything. Well, I don't know a lot about the. Um, the other animatronics, I don't know what they are, like, like, what they're called. I, um, is this one Ned Bear? No, Ned Bear is that one. That one is, uh, Rockstar Freddy. Rockstar Freddy is cool, so I'm gonna put him in A tier. And then, um, Rockstar Bonnie, I'm also gonna put him in, um, A tier. Only because in the Custom Night games, um, you gotta give him five coins, and you gotta, uh, get, 
Rockstar Bunny's guitar, which is a really cool mechanic. Mr. Hippo is the most annoying character I have ever seen in the Ultimate Custom Night game, especially because he's there telling you stories over and over and over. Pick Patch, again, don't really know his mechanics. Ned Bear, don't know his mechanics. Uh, Orville the Elephant, he's kind of cool. He's a magician, so he gets, like, C tier. Um, Rockstar Chica, she gets... B tier. She, she like, I love her design. She's really cool. Um, Rockstar Foxy and Parrot. They get they get S tier because Rockstar Foxy is very helpful in the Ultimate Custom Night game. He like if you ask like if you if you click on the parrot, he's gonna be like, okay, hey, what do you want? But if you keep asking him too much, like normal people, they would get annoyed and they'd be like, no, I'm done with this. Like normal people, like how everyone else does. Um, Music Man gets for creepiness factor gets a B for actual mechanic like whatever it is gets C because I don't know what his relevance is. I his he's just very creepy. L Chip is very annoying, so he's gonna get D tier. Um, uh, Molten Freddy gets to go in A, well, in B tier, because he's very scary, like the way that he looks. Um, I don't really know the story behind him, but he's very scary, and I I would not like that, like going into my vents. Um, I don't know what this one is. Scrap Trap, I think. Scrap Trap would get E, because I, I don't know what his relevance is. Uh, Scrap Baby would get probably a C tier. I like her design, but I don't know. Again, like I, I don't really know enough of the uh, sixth game. The... Um, I forget what it's called, but I don't know enough of the six game to be to judge them too much. Lefty is straight out cool. <laughs> like he is just like the coolest one out of all of them. Yes, he's missing an eye, but honestly, it it's just I I like his design. Dee Dee gets absolute F tier because she's just annoying. Fred Bear gets S tier. Uh, Spring Bonnie gets S, well, it gets B tier because it doesn't really do anything, but, you know, it's kind of cool. Scott Cawthon gets absolute S tier for creating these games, so thank you. And Chipper, I think that's because it, it was one of his games. I haven't played this game myself, so I'm going to put that in D tier with L Chip because I want to learn how to play these games. Like, I want, I want to play the game or I want to see, like, someone play it and be like, okay, I kind of got a feel for it, so now I can redo the tier list. So yeah, so yeah, that that is my whole tier list of everyone. So to recap, in S tier we have Balor. Well, actually no, in F tier we have Balloon, uh, Phantom Balloon Boy, um, Dee Dee Balloon Boy, um, uh, Bitty Bap Phone Guy, um, the Hippo, and. Uh, JJ, wait, JJ and Dee Dee, sorry. Uh, then in E tier, we have Phantom Bonnie, Phantom Freddy, um, but yeah, Phantom Chica, wait, are those Phantom, what? Oh, no, Shadow Bonnie, Shadow Freddy, Phantom Chica, Phantom uh, Mango, Phantom Foxy, um, uh, the, 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 the plush trap, um, Halloween Bonnie, uh, uh, Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica, uh, Nightmare Mangle, Nightmare Marionette, well, yeah, Nightmare Marionette, um, or Marion, I think, I don't remember, um, Nightmare BB, uh, this endoskeleton from the, um, uh, game, from the, 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 the FNAF World game, Biddy Bap, uh, Mini Rina, um, Bon uh, Bonnet, or I don't know what her name is. <laughs> Pig Patch, Ned Bear, and um, Will Trap, I think. I don't know. Um, Scrap Trap. 
Uh, in D tier, we have Golden Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Phantom Freddy, uh, Mangle, uh, da -da 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 <laughs> Nightmare Fre <laughs> Nightmare Fredbear, I think. No, yeah. Nightmare Fredbear, Old Man Consequences, Funtime Foxy, Lulbit, uh, Funtime Chica, um, Chip and Chipper. In C tier, we have Freddy, Foxy, Toy Freddy, <laughs> Golden Freddy, um, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare, um, Yendo, Happy Frog, Orville the Elephant, Music Man, and Scrap... Scrap Baby. In B tier, we have Chica, Bonnie, Withered Freddy, Toy, Toy Bonnie, Withered Foxy, um, Marionette, or Puppet, um, Nightmare Freddy and the Freddles, Circus Baby, Bon Bon, excuse me, um, uh, Rockstar Chica and Molten Freddy. In A tier, we have Toy Chica, Phantom, <laughs> Phantom Marionette, or Phantom Puppet, um, Springtrap, <laughs> Nightmare Foxy, uh, Ennard, uh, Toy Freddy, uh, mm, mm, Funtime Freddy. <laughs> These are so many characters. Funtime Freddy, um, Candy Cadet, Rockstar Freddy, <laughs> <laughs> this was a horrible idea. <laughs> Rockstar Bonnie, Lefty, Spring Bonnie, and in S tier we have Ballora, Trash and the Gang, uh, Helpy, Rockstar Foxy, Fred Bear, and Scott Cawthon. Okay, we got through them all eventually, and I'm that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad my memory is and how much you enjoyed the video. Um, so, uh, if you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!